Hello and welcome in the next video for the binary series. In this video I'm going to show you one method to multiplying binary numbers. In a later video I will show you a different method to carry out multiplication in binary numbers again. So in this video first we're going to look at how you can multiply decimal numbers by the so-called partitioning way. Then we are a little bit going to recap binary addition if you're not sure, we have got a separate video on binary addition. Then look at some examples, how you can multiply binary numbers by the partitioning method. And as always, you will get a chance to do some practice questions with all the answers included. So, what is partitioning? When you have got two big numbers in decimal, such as 6000, 982 multiplied by 507 what you can do instead of going straight into the big multiplication is to partition take apart the smaller number so 507 is the sum of 500 plus 7 so I can carry out this multiplication in two steps instead of multiplying 6982 by 507 straight away what I can do I can multiply 6982 by 500 in one step and multiply 6982 by 7 in another step now the advantage here is that we know multiplying any number by multiples of hundreds we have to put two zeros and then we only have to multiply by one digit and again here I only have to multiply by one digit so let's start with the smaller one 2 times 7 gives me 14 carry the 1 7 times 8 is 56 add 1 gives 57 carry the 5 7 times 9 is 63 plus 5 is 68 carry the 6 6 times 7 is 42 plus 6 give me the 48. So, so multiplying by a single digit is always easier than multiplying with many digits. Next is the same number multiplied by 500. So multiplied by 500 and start with two zeros because there are two zeros in here and again I only have to carry out a single digit multiplication. So 5 times 2 is 10 carry the 1. 5 times 8 is 40 plus 1 41 carry the 4. 5 times 9 is 45 plus 4 gives me 49 carry the 4 and 5 times 6 is 30 plus 4 is 34. Now there is one more final step in here and that is adding the two numbers together. So copy the bigger number and write underneath the smaller number. paying extra attention to that the smallest place values come under each other. Now carry out the addition digit by digit. 4, 0 plus 7 is 7, 0 plus 8 is 8, 1 plus 8 is 9, 9 plus 4 makes 13, carry the 1, 1 plus 4 makes 5 and 3 plus 0 gives me 3. So that's the answer to the multiplication when we carry out a partitioning method. Now you might tell me that it's a little bit long way around and you can do much much quicker with the ordinary method, the usual method, but that's probably because you have been taught that method to start with. In many schools in the UK now, they teaching students to do the multiplication using this partitioning method and they are much faster because it's easier to see them because they only have to carry out certain small multiplications. Now the reason why I showed you this is because it's the base of carrying out multiplication in binary numbers when we're using the partitioning method. Now for that we need to remember how to add binary numbers together. As I mentioned at the beginning if you're not familiar with adding binary numbers please do check out the addition video on binary numbers. Here I'm just going to quickly catch up on the rules. So 0 plus 0 equals 0, 1 plus 0 equals 1, 0 plus 1 
equals 1. So far nothing fancy, just like in decimal. However, when you have to add 1 and 1 together, you need to remember that you need to write down 0 and carry 1. And when you have to add 1 and 1 and 1 together, 3 1s, which you sometimes end up if you had a carry from the previous column, then it will be 1 and carry 1. I went into quite a bit of details explaining why these two rules work like this in the addition video, so if you don't remember, just check it out. So this is what we need to remember when we're doing the binary multiplication. And now, how does the binary multiplication using the partitioning method works? So, for example, you wanted to carry out the multiplication of 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, by 1, 0, 1. First, what you need to do is look at which is the smaller number out of the two. Well, obviously, 1, 0, 1 is the smaller number, so this will be the number I'm going to partition. Now, 1, 0, 1 is the sum of 1, 0, 0 plus 1. So, what the multiplication will be is 1, 0, 1, 1, 0 multiplied by 1, 0, 0 and 1, 0, 1, 1, 0 multiplied by 1. Now this will be much, much simpler and easier in binary than it was in decimal. Simply because when I'm multiplying binary numbers together, I only have got digits 1s and zeros. So multiply anything by 1 just stays the same. So all I need to do is just copy the number down and because I'm multiplying it by 1 and 0, 0, I just have to put two zeros behind it. And when I'm multiplying the number by 1, well, that's just itself. So that is just 1, 0, 1, 1, 0. Now, the last step, which probably will be the most complicated one, is the addition part. So I need to com copy down the two numbers, taking extra care, making sure that the digits are lining up properly. So the smallest place values go under the smallest place value. So 0 comes here, 1, 1 comes here, 0 and a 1 come here again. Now I can add them together using the rules that we just went through. 0 add 0 is 0, 0 plus 1 is 1, 0 plus 1 is 1 again, 1 plus 0 is 1, 1 add 1 makes 0, carry the 1, 1 plus 0 is 1, 1 add nothing is 1. So that's your answer to the multiplication. So that is equal to 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0. Now let's look at another example. 1, 1, 0, 0, 1 multiplied by 1, 1, 0. Again, look at which is the smaller out of the two. Well, that has got less digits, so that has to be the smaller number. So how can I partition this number now? 1, 1, 0 is the sum of 1, 0, 0 plus 1, 0. So the trick in here is that you're trying to partition it into multiples of hundreds or tens. Well, they're not really hundreds of tens, but that's how you can think about it. And then again, just multiply the other number with both of these and add it together. So 1, 1, 0, 0, 1 multiplied by 1, 0, 0 that will be just the original number 2, 0 added to it and then again this multiplied by 1, 0 will be the original number but now I'm only adding one extra 0 to it. And all I need to do now is just add these two together. I can't do it here because they're not lined up properly. So I need to copy it down and then making sure that I'm lining them up the correct way. So smallest place values go under the smallest place value and that way everything will be in the correct column. 0 add 0 is 0, 0 add 1 is 1, 1 add 0 is 1, 0 add 0 is 0, 0 add 1 is 1, 1 add 1 is 0, carry 1, 
1 add 1 is 0, carry 1, and there is nothing else to add here, so I can just copy the 1 down. So the solution for this multiplication is 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0. Third example, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, multiplied by 1, 1, 0, 1. Now, both numbers are quite big, but this is again still smaller. However, when I look at this number, I cannot easily just partition it into two separate sums. So what I need to do instead is partition it into three sums. So 1, 1, 0, 1 is the sum of 1, 0, 0, 0 plus 1, 0, 0 plus 1. Now, remember that when I multiply anything by 1, that is just the same number. So I'm going to skip that multiplication and I'm only going to do these two multiplications. And even then I'm going to be lazier. I'm not going to write out the multiplication now. I'm just going to copy down the original number. And with this one, I'm adding three zeros next to it. Copy it down again. And with that one, adding two more zeros to it. And obviously, when I'm multiplying it by itself, that's just the original number. Now, last thing is that they are all lined up, but in the wrong place value column. So I need to make sure that I'm lining them up properly because before I can carry out the addition. So that's the top number. Now the bottom number I need to copy down, making sure that this zero goes under here. So one, two, three zeros, two ones, two zeros, one more one. And the last one, same again, starting with the smallest place value here. And now I can start adding them together. Now, if you're not 100% sure how to add three binary numbers together, you can always just add the first two and then carry out one more addition to add the third. But let's be ambitious here and try to follow through this addition. Three zeros is just zero. Two zero and a one is just one. Two zero and a one again is just one. Same here. One add one is zero carry one. So obviously when I'm adding a zero that makes no difference whatsoever. I have got one, 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 three of them. That's a one carry a one. Uh, one and two zeros is just one. Zero, one is one. And one and nothing is one. So the solution for this multiplication is four ones, one zero, three ones, and one more zero. Let's look at the next example. One zero, one one zero, one one multiplied by one zero one. One zero one, again, I can partition it to be one zero zero add one. So I'm going to be even lazier now. I'm just going to pick up the number one zero, one one zero, one one. When I'm multiplying it by the one double zero, I'm just going to add, add two zeros to it. And I know that when I'm multiplying it by one, it's just the same number. So I'm just going to pick up that number and copy it directly under here, making sure that I'm following the smallest place value under smallest place value rule. So one, one, zero, one, one, zero, one. And here, this way, I can simply carry out the addition straight away. Zero, one is one. Zero, one is one. One, zero is one. One add one is zero, carry one. One add one is zero, carry one. One add one is zero, carry one. One add one add one is one, carry one. One add zero is one. And one add nothing is one. So the solution is one, one, one. 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1. So once you become familiar with the partitioning method and you know easily how to multiply them, you can always follow this trick. Just make sure that you're lining them up properly 
in the first place. And now let's look at the last example. This is one one zero zero one 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 zero one multiplied by one zero one zero. So when it comes to the partitioning, how can I break this up into pure multiples of hundreds and tens? 1010 zero, one, zero is basically the sum of 1 followed by 3 zeros plus 1 zero. You can slightly think about it just for a moment for the partitioning purposes that it's a thousand and ten, which is built up a thousand and one ten. Uh, don't forget that these are binary numbers, so strictly speaking we shouldn't treat them as decimals, but until you get used to this partitioning, you can do this little trick. And again, let's be lazy. Original number copied down, 11001101101, and then all we need to do is just put three zeros behind. Now that was easy, but what happens if I need to do this? But when I'm multiplying by one zero, I know that the last digit will be zero. So I'm going to copy the zero down. And I know that the rest of the digits will be exactly the same as the original number. So I'm just going to copy down the original number from here. One, 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 zero, zero, one, one. And I'm expecting two place value missing in here because there is two place value differences between the bigger and the smaller multiples. So carry out the addition now. 0 at 0 is 0, 0 at 1 is 1, 0 at 0 is 0, 1 at 1 is 0, carry the 1, 1 at 1 is 0, carry the 1, 1 at 1 at 1 is 1, carry the 1, 1 at 1 is 0, carry the 1, 1 at 1 is 0, carry the 1, 1 add 1 is 0, carry the 1. 1 add 1 is 0, carry the 1. 1 add 1 is 0 again, carry the 1. And last time, 1 add 1 is 0, carry the 1, which we can just bring down at the front. So, the multiple of these two binary numbers will be equal to 1, followed by 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 6 zeros altogether then copy one, three more zeros, one and zero. That's a rather big binary number. Now I hope that you understand this method and you will be able to carry out some multiplications yourself and for that you will have a few practice questions in a minute. So before I give you the practice questions Let's just quickly run through how actually the multiplication in binary works. So first of all, you look at both of your binary numbers and you pick out which one is the shorter, which one is the smaller. Then you break that number into multiples of tens. They're not really tens, but that's how you can think about it. Then you multiply the other number with every part of those multiples. And at the end, you add them together. And remember, when you're multiplying by multiples of tens, you just put zeros at the end. And now you can have a go at the practice questions. Here are the questions. And here are the answers. <laughs> 